Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this smoke text transition using Premiere Pro. But first, I need to get back to my regular black shirt. Welcome back. My name is Dario the Creator and yes, I feel lighter. Now let's get into it. We're going to be looking at how I created this smoke text transition. My pops, told me son, life's hard, you gotta be a man. Sometimes life don't play out the way you want. You the smoke text effect came in handy for this one. I mean, the way he was revealing the text was quite dramatic and very interesting. And this kept engagement even until the very end. And one big secret here, the smoke text effect in Premiere Pro is very easy to achieve. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, now that we're in Premiere Pro, first thing we wanna do is import the clips we'll be working with. Here we have two smoke clips and the footage that we'll be applying the smoke effect to. All right, now we'll bring it in and the next thing we wanna do is to drag in the main footage to create a composition. Good. Next thing we wanna do is to click on the text tool and then we'll type in our text. Here I'll be using the boycott font and I'll also be doing some adjustments in the size, color and positioning of the text so it can fit perfectly. Let's make the size bigger and then we'll position it properly. Now let's duplicate this layer and here we'll type in smoke text. Alright, again we'll increase the size of the text and position it better. This works. Now let's bring in a smoke right there. We'll click the effect control panel and now we can adjust the position of the smoke so it sits directly on the text we want it to reveal. Now we change the blend mode to subtract. Cool. It's looking good. Now let's create the mask for the text. The idea is to reveal each character of the text as the smoke pops up. So here, right beneath the opacity, we click on this rectangular shape and it creates the mask. We carefully adjust the mask by clicking on the nodes at the edges bring that down okay we'll do the same for this All right great let's look at this again cool now we can set our first keyframe at this point now we'll take the timeline indicator back to the beginning and set another keyframe right there and then we'll drag this nodes at the end all the way back that's it let me hit the space bar to play this cool Now let's add some feather to this, let's say 60. Let's play this again. And watching this over again, I can see that the timing of the text and the smoke doesn't match. So to align this, I'll have to adjust the keyframe. Now that's better. Now it's time for us to apply the turbulent displace. Simply go down to the effect and just type in the turbulent displace and it'll pop up. Now you click and drag onto the text. Notice our text is already distorted. Now all we have to do is to animate the amount of displacement. So for the turbulent effect, we'll leave amount as 50 for the first keyframe and the second keyframe will be minus 45. Right click keyframes to set ease in and ease out. Let's play this again. Okay, now I feel like the text movement is not as interesting as I want it to be, so I'll just adjust the keyframes and set new keyframes. Okay, here we'll make the third keyframe 10. Let's adjust this a little bit. Now let's hit the enter key to render, and then now let's play it again. Okay, now let's set one last keyframe and we'll make this one zero. Again, we'll do some more adjustments. Let's render this so we can see. Okay, now we just keep adjusting until we are satisfied with the results. Let's take this out of the way. And now I want my text to fade out and what I'll do here is to set keyframes for the opacity. I'll set it at the end of the text where I want it to fade out. First keyframe will be 100 and the second one will be 0. 
Then right click to ease in and ease out the keyframes. And that's it. Now it's time for us to move on to the smoke text. For this, we'll apply the shockwave smoke effect and then we'll just change the blend mode to subtract. Adjust this. We want this text to fade in, so we'll go to Opacity to set keyframes at the beginning of the text. The first keyframe is set at 0, and the second one is set at 100. Cool, better. And now we're bringing the turbulent displace effect, just like we did with the first text. Go to the effect control panel to set the amount of displacement. And this time we'll just play around with it until we're satisfied with our results. Alright guys, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. We'll do some more adjustments. Now let's come down to opacity. We want the text to fade out, so we'll set two keyframes here. The first one will be 100 and the second one will be 0. Hit on render. And let's look at this again. Cool. Okay, now let's activate the full screen to preview the final results. Cool. Love it. We're done. And that's it, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Darren, the creator. Until next time, peace.